so we've done the uh, exterior we've done the interior okay and now we're gonna start doing function checks on everything see if everything's working so all right first thing I'm gonna do okay I'm gonna come in this one uh, pass-through compartment and I'm gonna check my lights Okay, make sure everything's working with those. All right, and I've got my stabilizers, okay, front and rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and, right now they're extended. I'm gonna retract them. That way I can go ahead and test out my uh, jack up front here in a second. So let's go ahead and retract that back one. So we're gonna look underneath there. Making sure everything looks like it worked good on those. All right, let's do these front ones. All right. All right, they both retracted, so that's a good thing. All right, so now we're going to come up here and we're going to check the function, okay, of our jack up front. So right now it's extended. We'll go ahead and retract. Seems like everything's working. We'll go ahead and run it back up. All right, good to go. That's what I'm talking about. So, that's pretty much for everything here on the outside other than checking that one plug. And we'll do that after a while, but let's go inside. Alright, so we're back inside the camper. And now we're going to start checking to see if things are functional in here. So, we'll start out here at our panel. Alright, so one thing that I needed to do last year that I haven't done yet. And I'm going to put this on my to-do list. Is I'm gonna put some labels because I can't never remember which one of those switches is what okay all right obviously that one on the left is my inside lights so I'm gonna go ahead and make a note of that but since I got them turned on all right those lights okay these here they run off the switch so we'll check them all right they seem to be working all right there's one of my lights that comes on automatically all those seem to be working here's another push light okay we'll go back here to the back i got another light up there it's on the switch all right that one seems to be working we'll go ahead and check my fan that seems to be working looks like i got some dead bugs up there i'll go ahead and vacuum them out here in a minute but uh it's looking like all my lights are working that one's working and I thought I had one in here I guess I don't well nope I do got one it's back here let's see if it's working all right that one seems to be working too so everything everything seems to be working on that front all right so this next switch I think is my lighting outside so we'll go ahead and hit that and it looks like it is so I will slap me a note up so that I know that that's my outside lighting I think I've actually got a light here on the other side yep there it is right there it is on all right so good to go Let's knock on wood. So far, everything's working. I mean, you'll usually come out of winter, you'll have something that ain't working. So, you go ahead and got to prepare yourself. All right. So, that's that. And then this last one is like accent lighting. Okay. And there's like a light down underneath here in this little shoe storage area. And it also check out that little accent lighting so that's pretty much all that does all right so we got that uh we can go ahead and check our control panel here okay check our battery our battery looks like it's good to go now you can't always depend on these a hundred percent so just keep that in mind but uh, i kept my battery on a tender all winter I, I detached it from the camper took it inside kept it charged so it seems to be good all right we don't really need to check these tanks here after a while we're gonna 
prep all that okay clean out that fresh tank and we'll probably sanitize our black and gray tanks a little bit okay water pump we'll check it out here in a minute when we get the water hooked up to it water heater the same way okay i usually run electric but we'll choose we'll we'll check the gas too but uh i gotta wait till i get my water hooked up and make sure i got my uh my water heater back there make sure i hit my bypass and everything so i fill up my tank and check it out make sure it's good plus i got to put that plug back in it. all right going around just other things you can check okay you know i got my radio here everything seems to be good all right this tv uh i'll plug it in here after a while and i'll check it out see if it's working okay my inside heat okay that's another thing that you know once i get all my tanks and my gas turned on and everything you know we'll check it out make sure it's working i got another uh fire a lot or another smoke detector okay i want to check it just like i did the other one pull it down here look at it make sure it got no cobwebs any corrosion and i'm going to replace that battery all right now all these plugs in here all right i got some usb plugs i got some standard plugs here and there all right you'll want to go through and check all those out and make sure they're all working okay all the way throughout your camper okay just like here in the bathroom i want to check it out i already checked my light and my fan out everything is working good there okay with the uh refrigerator okay i'll go ahead and i'll go ahead and turn it on okay and we'll check it out here after a while see if it's getting cold all right looks like the microwave is good to go all right it started up that's a good thing okay we'll have to set that clock and we'll get the power on all the time check my light there it's good check my fan okay when i get my gas turned on and everything i'll check to make sure everything's working with my stove okay uh with my faucets here and back there in the bathroom we get the water turned on we'll uh check that out and we'll flush all that antifreeze out of the lines all right got some more plug-ins I want to check make sure they're functionable all right so as far as the function check everything seems to be doing pretty good all we got to do is check our water pump and our water heater you know make sure those are working and come back and check that refrigerator and make sure it's good to go so what are we going to do next well we're going to flush the lines all right so the next thing we're going to do is uh we're going to flush the lines okay uh, in my camper what I do is I run uh, antifreeze through the lines during the winter to keep the lines from freezing up So now what I got to do is I got to put some fresh water on and push all that antifreeze out. So Basically what I do uh, I'm going to connect to my city water. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up all my drains Okay, I'm going ahead and open up my uh, uh, Gray tank, okay so then any water that goes down the drain can go, or the antifreeze can go ahead and flush out. Uh, this stuff is, is not dangerous to animals or, or I think it's okay even on vegetation. So I'm not too worried about that. So we're going to run all that stuff out on the ground. It's going to be fine. And uh, the other thing you want to do, I got an assistant. They're inside. They went ahead and went in there and, okay, uh, opened up the faucets okay so i don't have too much pressure coming through right off the bat and end up uh, blowing a fitting or blowing a line off and also make sure you always got your pressure regulators on your hose that way uh, you don't have any problems even when you're at home turning it on so i'm gonna go down here and turn this faucet on and we'll flush these lines out all right so i got my low drain down here all right i'm gonna let it run and basically what you want to do you want to run it till it runs clear okay so it's pushing all that old antifreeze out so you want to let it run till it runs clear everything looks good to go there nice and clear all right look here we got the
All right, got the hot water side draining. Uh, I've got my hot water heater bypassed right now. That's because I didn't want any of that antifreeze going into my water heater. So we're going to go ahead and let it run till it's good continuous stream. And we've pushed out all that antifreeze. All right, everything's... Everything's looking pretty good. All right. I'll go ahead and close that one. Let's go inside. All right, so now we've come inside. We'll go ahead and we'll run this uh, cold line clear. All right, as you can see. All right, our stream's picking up here. All right, looks like we're good and clear. All right, let's go ahead and flip it back to the hot. Let's run it. Notice it started out pink. Now we're going to run it till it runs clear. We'll go ahead and let it run here about 30 seconds or something. All right, so that one looks good to go, and we're going to do that to every one of them. Okay, so let's go back here. In this bathroom. All right, everything's looking clear on the cold side. All right, everything's looking good on the hot side. All right, go in here to this tub. Turn it on. It's a good time right now too. You can go ahead and try to get some mess to collect it. You go ahead and drain it out, wash it out. It's kind of sticky. All right. Check this side. Like I said, run it about, I'll run it about 30 seconds to admit it just to make sure it's good and clear. All right, you're going to do the same to your toilet. Start it out pink there. Let's go ahead and hold it down and let it run for about. 30 seconds to a minute. Just making sure that everything's running clear. Alright, last but not least, if your camper is equipped with an outside shower, okay, you want to go ahead and drain all of it out of there too. So, we'll turn on this uh, cold. Let it run for a little bit, about 30 seconds to a minute. We'll run this hot side here. All right, we're also looking, you know, at all of our fittings and everything, making sure, you know, since we're back here, making sure we don't have any water leaking out any of the fittings or the connections. So everything's looking good to go. All right, so now that you've got the water turned on, okay, and you've run the lines clean, all right, it's a good time right now to go ahead and check underneath the cabinets everything and make sure that we don't have any leaks okay that sprung up over the winter time okay so we're gonna go ahead and open up these cabinets okay and we're looking around where okay where these fittings come in but now you won't always see it sometimes you'll feel it so take your hands and get back there and feel and see if you feel any water okay anywhere you got lines so we'll go over here and Clean some of this out here real quick. Okay. I don't see no water coming through where. Alright, let's go back to the bathroom. Alright, so coming back here in the bathroom, go ahead and open this cabinet up. Look up underneath here and like I said, you know, look up there, make sure you don't have any water coming in them fittings. Look down on the floor and you know, biggest thing, get your hand in there, feel around, make sure you don't feel no water. Okay, I'm not feeling anything, so that's good. All right, and the main thing with water is it runs downhill. So if we really want to look and check and see if we got any water, let's go, let's go look up underneath this thing and see if we see anything dripping or anything. All right, so I'm up underneath my camper. And I'm just looking to see if I see any water dripping anywhere. 
or if I hear any water. Okay, I'm looking. And I'll look at the back here. I'll turn around here and look up front and, you know, I'm going to leave the water. I'm going to leave the water hooked up for a while, okay? So, uh, we'll, we'll keep it hooked up and then we'll come back here and check again after a while and make sure we don't have any leaks. So, now, uh, pretty much the last thing I got is to get back here, uh, put that plug in the uh, water heater tank and we'll hit that bypass we'll fill up the water heater tank and we'll check all the lines and fittings going in and uh, make sure everything's good to go with that all right this is always the fun part getting back here and messing with this water heater because you gotta crawl around and all that kind of stuff and then figure out what's going on. basically i got two bypasses on there so i've opened them up and uh, i'm filling up my tank right now so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll let it fill up and I'll run my uh, I'll run my hot water a little bit. I'll, well, I'll I'll turn on my hot water heater and I'll check to make sure it's coming on and working. And you know I'll check to all the fittings and everything, make sure I don't see anything that concerns me. I did see I had a little puddle there but you know it looks like it sealed itself back up and i don't see anything i don't see or feel anything dripping now so so whatever that was it must be good to go but we'll keep an eye on it we'll clean that up and so far everything's looking pretty good so we're going to turn on this uh water heater here and we'll check to make sure everything's working good with it and then our function check on everything will be pretty much over all right, we're going to sanitize the tank, okay, my fresh water tank, that is. I'll put some links in the description to some videos that talk a little bit more about it. But uh, you're going to want to put a water bleach mixture. Then what you're going to do is you're going to run... You're going to go inside your camper, okay? You're going to go inside your camper. So you're going to fill that tank up, okay, with that water and, and uh, bleach mixture, okay? And then what you're going to do, you're going to come over here. All right, you're going to turn your water pump on. You, got to, you don't want to turn it on if you ain't got any water in there. So I've got that water bleach mixture in there. I've got filled up. Okay, I'm going to turn my pump on. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to all my faucets. Okay, I'm going to turn them on. And I'm going to let them run. Okay, you can hear, I can hear that uh, pump's working, so that's good. It passed the function check. All right, so I'm going to turn that on. And when that water comes out and I can smell that, <coughs> when that water comes out and I can smell that bleach, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, okay? That lets me know that that bleach uh, water uh, mixture is in my lines. And I'm going to do the same thing, okay, back here on this one, okay? So, you know, that way I've got that uh, sanitizing bleach and water concoction. I've got it up in my lines. I've got uh, it down in my holding tank. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit overnight and I'm going to let it do it. I'm going to let it do its thing, okay, and sanitize my tank and water lines. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain that tank, okay. I'm going to hit my uh, low point valve and I'm going to drain my lines. Then I'm going to fill the tank back up with clean water and I'm going to run it and flush all that bleach out and I'm going to drain the tank again and then I'll be good. So I'll make a video later showing exactly how to do all that. But there's some on YouTube, and if I can find one, I'll stick it in the description. So, All right, so we're moving down the checklist. All right, we started out number one. Okay, we checked, uh, we checked the outside of the camper. So we walked around, you know, we checked the tires, we checked the... We checked all around the windows, we checked the lights, we checked our LP tank, we checked our battery, you know... Uh, we checked all around to make sure, you know, we didn't have any issues. And then we went up on top and checked the roof and 
We even looked up underneath the camper. So we did all the outside. So that was number one. Number two, we checked the inside. Okay, so we went inside and, you know, we checked to make sure uh, everything was good to go inside. You know, that we didn't have any signs of water leaking or anything like that over the winter. Okay, number three, uh, we did a function check. Okay, we hooked up the power and we made sure everything was working. Okay number four all right we uh we hooked the water up and we flushed the lines we got all that antifreeze out of there okay so take inventory and restock okay so inventory what i mean is is getting in your camper and you should maintain some kind of list of things that you keep in there all the time so you know want to make sure you got all your cooking supplies uh you want to make sure you got you know all your plastic bags your aluminum foil you know your saran wrap cling wrap whatever you use uh, make sure that you got everything that you took out for the winter that you got it back in there soap dish soap sponges paper towels napkins uh, plastic utensils uh, paper plates you know your list is going to be different from mine but you should develop some kind of list of things that you you keep in there uh, don't forget your toilet paper you're gonna need tp so uh you know just check go over your list make sure you develop a list and i'll talk about that in another video you know as far as making a list and how to organize everything because i got a way that i do it and you might be interested in that so stay tuned and we'll get that video out but uh also part of your organization you know make sure you got everything you need so when you go to set up your camper because i don't know about you all but i've got to the campsite on that first one and not had my hoses uh not had an extension cord not have something so uh, i learned from those mistakes so basically you know you'll have a list with all that stuff on it and what i do is i keep two boxes okay two of these totes and i store them in my pass through okay and what i have in these totes are things that i'm going to need when i get down there at campground so like this one here okay what i got on it in it is things that i'm going to need immediately okay so when i pull up i'm going to have to i got my adapter there so i can hook up my electric i also got my power cord and i've got an extension cord in there okay so i can hook up to my power okay i've got my hose in there so i can hook up my water lines i've also got and i don't see them in here so i'm going to have to find them i've got some levelers that i like to use and i do not see them so they're the drive up kind i'll go find them here in a minute and i'll show them to you but you know that's something on my list and i don't have it so i'm gonna gotta make sure i get them in there so i have them uh, i've also got you know this tire locking chocks okay that helps keep my uh, camper a little bit more stable when i'm down there so these are things that i use immediately when i get to the campground okay so i like to have that box i can pull it out and i can start working on that or my or my partner whoever's helping me set up they can get right there and everything's where you need it so this box here has just got you know a bunch of different things that i use once i get down there i got panels okay for my canopies all right i got some lug wrenches just in case i have an emergency on the road okay i've got these tie downs that i use okay for my canopy got some other extension cords got some tent stakes and also in here okay this is my elbow okay so when i go to uh dump when i go to leave okay i got my elbow so i can uh, dump my black tank and my gray tank out so you know those are things that i'll need later down the line all right another thing that i got and i know all right if you look in there i've got my uh i've got my level so i can check make sure everything's plumb and level when i get to the campground uh, also back in there i've got my american flag because you got to have that and i've got my little flag holder that i made and if you want to know more about that if you want to know more about that look up in the card and i'll show you how to make one of those you know that you can attach to your camper to put your flag on it anyway so we got all the we got all the restock and then everything we've updated our list i'm gonna go find these blocks i was talking about and i'll be right back all right so i found them these here just help you get your camper good and plumb when you pull up so what you do is you just drive up on these and you just drive up on them okay they raise your camper up so i love those things 
they're a lot better than trying to st stack blocks up on, under your tires. I mean, those things there, you just drive up on it and it, it does the work for you. It's awesome. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you look in the description of this video, you'll see all the steps, you know, uh, listed. And uh, all that's really left to do is book your camping trip and navigate outdoors. And that's all that's left. And if you navigate outdoors, you're going to have good times, I promise. So thanks again for joining me. Hope this... Uh, Hope this was informational for you. Hope you learned something. If you got any questions or you got ways that you do things, hey, put them in the comments, you know. I'm always learning. So if there's something you do that maybe I didn't do, let me know about it. Uh, I'm going to go back and look at my list of things that I need to go back and look at and fix and stock up on and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I'm going to correct all the deficiencies that I got. Luckily, knock on wood, I don't have many, so that's good. Should be a good camping trip this first time. I mean, it's all about preparedness. You know, go ahead and uh, prepare beforehand. And, you know, that way you don't run into a bunch of problems when you're out there maybe somewhere remote camping. And, you know, you, you just, you sour the whole trip, you know. Start the trip off right and, uh, you know, with some pre-planning and, you know, make you some lists and do your checks and check it twice, just like Santa Claus. And, hey you'll be good to go and you'll have a good time. So coming up in the future, I'm gonna have a video on how to organize, you know, your camping stuff and organize your lists and organize all your, you know, everything that you need to do to go with camping. Cause I found some pretty good ways that, that I do things and I think they may help you out. So I'll have some videos coming up. So hit that notification bell, hit like if you like the video. And like I said earlier, navigate outdoors. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Oh